saw my doing. Papa's dead because of me. It's all my fault. Nothing would have happened if it hadn't been for me. Teresa, look, I know you're upset, but you're not making sense. You're nowhere near your father. Taxi! Gwen, where are you going? Gwen, wait! Hi. Gwen, where's Ethan? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have come. I didn't mean to interrupt. You've already been through so much already oh, no, tonight. No, 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 I'm sorry. No, Gwen, wait. Hank, I hope you won't mind if I don't ask you to stay for nightcap. No, no, of course not. I was gonna cut out anyway and let you get some rest. You had a rough night. Look, thanks for bringing me home. I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Night, Gwen. So what happened? Where's Ethan? He's with another woman. Someone who's just madly in love with him. Teresa. Who else? Comforting Teresa. He was so sweet with her. Oh. Teresa's father had just... I know, I know, and I feel bad. I truly do. Everyone feels really bad. But Ethan was so kind to her and gentle and caring towards her. Thank you. Ethan is a wonderful guy. I mean, I would expect him to be kind and gentle to someone who just lost their father. I mean, you can't be mad at him for that. I wasn't. I wasn't mad. Not the first time. The first time? And the first time I saw him comforting Teresa, I understood. But then I thought he was going to go comfort Pilar, but as soon as I came back, I found him with Teresa again. Gwen, I think you're reading way too much into this. No. Look, I have known for weeks how Teresa feels about Ethan. She is totally obsessed with him and in love with him, and you can't tell me that she isn't. I, I won't. I mean, Ethan keeps denying it. I mean, to me and to himself. He has completely bought into this idea that Teresa has some boyfriend that she's crazy about. And there's no chance that she could be telling the truth about this? No, zero. She is so transparent. This is pathetic. You know, Ethan and I were supposed to meet this boyfriend of hers, just like we were supposed to meet him Christmas Eve. But he's such an elusive little devil because he didn't show up again. And guess who managed to wind up in Ethan's arms at midnight? Teresa. You know, you know, I overheard some women talking about a magazine article that they had read earlier. And apparently it claims that whichever man's arms a woman is in at midnight New Year's Eve is the man they're destined to spend the whole year with. Now, I know it's silly, and I don't normally believe in these things, but... Sharon, I wanted to be in Ethan's arms at midnight. I thought he was going to propose to me tonight, and I was finally going to say yes, because I thought that Teresa wasn't a threat to us anymore. But she certainly looked like one tonight with her arms wrapped around Ethan and her, and her head resting on his chest. Tell me about that prediction again. Why? Whose arms were you in at midnight? Well, I know about the mix-up, how you wanted to ask Louise to go with you tonight, but mistakenly asked Hank instead. When it comes to making mistakes, I'm really on a roll. Although Hank is a very sweet guy. Did you wind up in his arms at midnight? Is Hank the man you'll be with for the rest of the year? No. I wasn't with Hank. I was with Louise. Hmm. So you wound up in the arms of the man you wanted to be with in the first place. Just like Teresa wound up with Ethan. It was meant to be. Just like the prediction, Sheridan. Oh, when? It, it was a silly romance magazine article. Nothing more. Well, I remember another prediction. Remember the fortune cookie? It said that my love would be threatened by a woman close by. Oh, the fortune cookie. Well, I didn't think much of it at the time, but now that I remember, Teresa was right there. Look, Gwen, if you start believing in all this seeing into the future stuff, you'll drive yourself mad. I normally don't believe in these things, but it all seems to be coming true. Nothing's coming true. Well, you got what you wanted, didn't you? The last person I could ever spend the rest of the year with is Louise. You're just trying to make me feel better about not being in Ethan's arms at midnight. I'm just being realistic, Gwen. Well, I think that you definitely want to be with Louise for the rest of the year. You went to Santa Fe with him. 
You went to the tree lighting ceremony with him. Sheridan, could it be possible? Could you be falling in love with Louise? No, absolutely not. It's impossible. I mean, we're from two different worlds, just like Ethan and Teresa. 